Jean's been a resident here for nearly 10 years and loves it, apart from when she gets her monthly heating bill. We live here in these almshouses now 12 bungalows and we have one metre. So that means that we only have one £400 grant and we have to share it between 12 of us. Our electricity bills are quite high here because it's all electric heating, which is quite old fashioned. My son pays the same as I do for a four bedroom detached house in Silverstone and there are four of them live there, which is about £80 a month. But we don't really know where else to go. We feel that we're at the end of the line now and we're almost being forgotten. Howard and Jean are next door and say this situation isn't as unique as you'd think. According to the government, there's 1% of the population fall into the trap of not having a direct relationship with their energy supplier. Um, we're unfortunately in that category. Um, I mean, that 1% it amounts to some 650,000 across the country. People in almshouses, caravan parks, boats, caravans, and we're all going to lose out or we're all losing out at the moment. How do you think you're going to cope with this? Well, I think we'll cope OK, but it, the extra money would uh, really take us through to next April. Jen lives on the block too and says they all face a challenging winter. There's a lot of us as sitting with the electric storage heaters not on because of the price. Quite cold if you've got a city or all day. We're all anxious that, you know, that we need to have this because of the price of our electric. The lady across there with a, a health risk um, and, you know, she doesn't get about very well and she has to sit all day and our family come every day uh, to help with that. But, yeah, we need to look after each other and that's what we're trying to do here. These retirement homes are managed by the charity Spon and Bickerstaff. They say they feel extremely sorry for residents who are in a situation that's not their fault. They say they are fighting on behalf of those residents to try and fix this. That's included writing to the Conservative MP for South North Hants, Andrea Leadsom. They say they are hoping to get a resolution on this from the government within weeks. Andy Holmes, BBC Look East, Toaster.